Shalom everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, family. God bless you so much for being part of this family. If today is your first time, I kindly request you to subscribe and try to leave a comment and share the video to a friend and to a friend. Today I'm going to share with, with you one thing you must do, one very thing you must do, whether you're a woman or a man, you must do before you marry. You see, there are certain things we take them for granted. We, You meet a woman on the street, you propose the next day, he or she is a wife, he or she is a husband, you marry, life goes on. If we will do one particular thing, we'll be able to reduce the divorce rate. Yes, the devil is there. Yes, the devil is fighting marriages, but God has given us the power. God has made a provision. God has given us the wisdom to be able to deal with these particular things. What most of us don't know or what most of you don't know is that particular one thing you got to do, you have to do before you say yes. So this goes to ladies. When a man comes and proposes to you, or even you, the man, before you go and propose to a woman, and the woman accepted, the first thing, don't have sex with that woman. The woman, don't have sex with that man. What you need to do is to do physical examination, spiritual investigation, to find out the roots of that particular person. You have to know the families, where they are coming, what, what where is coming from, where she's coming from, what they do, their family background, what is in their family. You have to do all that. Now, uh, if you are married, this message or this teaching is also good for you. You can do it. In this particular case, the couples have to come together with one accord, with understanding if they are having problems, issues, they have to come together and, and make sure they do spiritual investigation. There are so many people who are in relationship, who are married, who are not open to themselves. The man is not telling the wife their family background. The wife is not telling the husband their family background. So they live, they live like a normal human being when they are actually dying. So if you are married, you can also do uh, the teachings. You can also do the instructions I'll be giving at the end of these classes or lesson or this teaching. But if you're single, you just have to thank God you found this teaching. And please share it with another friend. Share it. It's very, very important because I'm going to make some very important statements which will go a long way to help you. Now, a lady came to me some time back and the lady said to me, she said she started engaging with men when she was 19 years. The time she came to me, she was now, she's now, she was now 39. And she said from 19 to the age of 39, she has, she has had boyfriends or fiancés, 26, 26 men has come on their way. And the amazing thing is none of these 26 men saw marriage material in her. They didn't see her as a potential wife. And, and what annoyed her most, she said, among the 20, 26 uh, men, two of them were pastors. Two of them were pastors. And she was so comfortable, she was happy when the first pastor proposed to her and she accepted, believing and knowing that the pastor will help her to come out from a situation. So she came to me with all this. And she's like, I'm the last person she's going to talk to because somebody recommended me to her. So she sat in the bus from another region and met me. We sat for almost two hours. We spoke and a last decision was if there's no good answer coming from me, 
she is not going to engage in any relationship. Her and relationship, they are done. And I've heard so many ladies say that. I've heard so many women say that. We are done with relationship. We are tired of relationship. We have suffered so many disappointments. You will continue suffering because you have not done what you are supposed to do. You have not done what you are supposed to do. Listen to me carefully. Sex to a man cannot capture him to marry you. No. It can't. If it will, they would have gone out and be sleeping with prostitutes. What I just want you to understand is there is more to it than just meeting a man and proposing to you and accepting it or meeting a woman and proposing to her and she accepting it, then you become couples. No marriage under this sun. No. Read my lips. No marriage under this sun is right. No marriage under this sun is not suffering. Every marriage has a problem. And the reason is people didn't know what to do. People didn't know how to go about it. That particular one thing you have to do, that particular, you have to examine the, the, the foundation or the family. So the lady came and we spoke. By God's grace, through prophecy, God was able to reveal what she was going through. Now, the painful aspect for her was the day they broke off from the relationship, she slept at the man's place, the new boyfriend. And she said, by the way, they dated for some, she said the last person, uh, the last person whom she dated, the, the relationship lasted for six months. She said that was the longest relationship she has ever had the longest relationship she has ever had, six months and she said within that six months she said to herself she would not have sex with the man and she said when there was no sex everything was okay they were very 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 fine the man was visiting her she was visiting they go out they have fun but she said she became so comfortable to extend that she started believing that this is the right man. This is the, the right man to marry her. So she went in and slept at the man's place. She said they just had sex twice. The second one, she was at the man's place around 3 a.m., midnight, 3 a.m. The man woke her up and told her to leave her, her house, to leave her, his room. What was the reason? The man said he dreamt about that lady with a face of snake chasing him, running after him. So she herself was telling me when the man was talking to her, the man was panting. The heart was beating too fast as if she, he has been running. So 3 a.m. the man chased her from there. And she said the most painful part is the guy has a car. 3 a.m., where will she get transport to her place? She has to move to on the street to pick taxi. So in the morning, the guy called her, and the guy asked her. He didn't understand what really happened, but the dream was scary. He got scared, and that is how they broke off the relationship. That is how they broke off the relationship. And the lady somehow knew a problem. So the moment I mentioned the snake, I mentioned something relating to a problem, she then recalled the event that took place in the boyfriend's home. That is when she told me, actually, the boyfriend dreamt of snake and the boyfriend chased her from the home. So you have to do when a man proposed to you, there are things you have to do. The man has to marry someone who understands spirituality. Marry some woman, a woman. The woman must understand spirituality because we are spirit beings. Whatever is fighting you, whatever is coming from your home is not physical. It's a spirit. 
what you have to do, you have to do spiritual cleansing. What we don't do, you see, when you study the Bible carefully, I love one particular lady, Esther. Very unique, very revolutionary woman. She knew what she wanted. She knew she has a problem. For Esther to go and meet the king, she took one year to prepare herself. One solid year. Go and read the book of Esther. You can read chapter 1, chapter 2. Esther took the place of Vatish, the queen, the king's wife, because the queen, the, the, the queen felt she was so beautiful. And the Bible describes her as a very beautiful woman. But pride and arrogance entered into her. You don't know what is following you. One thing I know about the devil is he will wait. There are, there are two ways the devil can attack your relationship. There are some homes, when you go into their home, the, the, the idol powers in their home, the evil spirit in their home, they will just wait for you to marry. After you married, they will come and strike and cause divorce. Or there is another, another version of as you are dating, depending on the dedication your ancestors dedicated you, to that particular deity, to that particular god, to that particular idol in your home. If you guys, the entire family has been dedicated that you shouldn't marry, you will not marry. I know a family where people don't marry. When you marry, you have to divorce. What must you do? You must do that particular one thing. You must deal with that thing before you enter into marriage. You must cleanse yourself. You must do spiritual baths. You must investigate from your family background what is that particular thing. What is that particular thing? I know of a lady, the mother. The mother gave birth to her alone. She also gave birth to a daughter. The daughter went to, the daughter was in secondary school. She also conceived and gave birth to another daughter. So in their family, they are only girls. Now, the, the amazing thing is none of them is staying with a man. The mother is not staying with another, is not staying with a man. The daughter to the mother is not staying with her. Now, the granddaughter is not staying with her. Now, the great-granddaughter, whom the daughter also gave birth from the second, at the secondary school, is also not staying with a, with a, a man. So you can see the trend, what is happening. You can see what is happening. There are things that you need to do. There are so many marriage, there are so many wrong marriages out there. There's nothing painful than marrying the wrong person. There's nothing painful than you spending all your energy into marriage and they divorce you. Or you are divorced and you are chased, you are chased back from there from your ancestral home. It's because you have not dealt with the spirit from your ancestral home. You have not dealt with the spirit following you. You have not dealt with the spirit blocking home. Just look at all your aunties, look at all your uncles, see whether there is marriage at home, see whether there is fruitfulness at home. This are supposed to inform you to know what to do. Seek for direction, seek for help, and deal with it. And deal with it. You have to know that particular one thing to deal with. God bless you so much. You can WhatsApp me if you need any clarification. I'll come with part two to explain how you'll be able to deal with this thing there. The, the, the spiritual bath you need to do. God bless you.